where the hell are you? We have no authorization for the surveillance van right now. Where are you? Captain, we got it. Don't worry. It's a huge drug boss, man. We I all got it. I have no idea what you're doing out there right now. Once again, you have no authorization to be out there. Get back to base. Now. Don't get out of that truck. Don't get... Freeze! You little... No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, you got it, man. What's an MRE? <sighs>what is going on guys will here welcome to the video today we are only going to be eating mres for the next 24 hours mre stands for meals ready to eat they are pretty much just military launchables and what they are are self-contained individual meals in lightweight packaging that the soldiers would take out when they're out in combat because they do not have access to food and a kitchen that's pretty much the best thing that they got and when i was looking at these packages they are quite condensed and small like yay yay and i was like they must be like 500 calories at most, but guys, they clear a thousand calories per meal easily. So safe to say, I'm gonna be getting a lot of calories in. On top of that, I am also gonna be going and trying the US Marine fitness test to see if I have physically what it takes to be a soldier and to see stomachly if I have what it takes to be a soldier. So let's go get some breakfast. Okay, so for breakfast, we're gonna be going with the maple rolled oats. So who does not like oatmeal for breakfast? And here is the packaging. As you guys can see, it is quite small and thin. So let's open this bad boy up. It doesn't even tell you when this thing was packaged, so maybe my ancestors packaged this meal for me. And also it only tells you that there's the oatmeal in it and there's tons of other stuff in it, so it's kind of like a surprise. Kind of a cool little way to start your day. They would have a knife in the field, so I'm gonna use a knife. Here is the maple oatmeal. Looks very appetizing. Uh, we also have here wheat snack bread. TFF. I don't know what TFF stands for. No idea. We also have carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, fruit punch. Interesting. Cool. And then we have a milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. A spiced pound cake. That's nice. And then we also have here Frosted brown sugar cinnamon toaster pastry. So I'm assuming this is just an ancient Pop-Tart. And then we have peanut butter. And then of course our utensils because we're not gonna be using silverware today because they did not have silverware in the trenches. So I'm gonna try to put this thing together and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so here we go. The oatmeal is all warmed up, ready to go. Let's give this bad boy a try. It actually smells very good. I feel like you can't mess up oatmeal because it's, but it does not look like oatmeal. Strong resemblance to vomit, which is a great way to start the morning. You guys can see that. It looks like soup. I guess I, when they're in combat, they don't really care about the consistency of their oatmeal. It's probably the last thing they think about. Whoa, that is so sweet. So, oh, it, it just tastes like apple pie filling. Oh, it has a metallic taste to it. I don't know if that's from the packaging because it's been in here for so long, but I'm tasting the metal, which is not pleasing. Okay, <clears throat> oatmeal down. Uh, if I was in normal life, I'd say this is probably like a three out of 10, but if I was in the trenches, 10 out of 10 for sure. Uh, now let's go with the Wheat Snack Bread TFF. If they could just go one extra mile to rename these foods to make them sound a little bit more appetizing. Like Wheat Snack Bread. How about a nice multi-grain gourmet cracker? Something like that. I don't know. And this thing just looks freaking 10 years too old and way too stale for someone to be eating this. But here we are. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it smells like peanut butter with hand sanitizer. It smells like school supplies. Really, really dry. Hmm. 
Really good. I enjoyed that. So dry, so let's get a drink to assist this to go down. Let's go with the milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. You have to fill the water up to this line. So why can't you just put this into the actual bottle itself? Good question, that's because if you're in combat and you see when like one of your soldiers down, gun wound, you wanna pour water into it, it has to be water, obviously, if you pour it and you're like, oh, shit, there goes my cocoa beverage powder. That'd probably make the situation just a little bit worse, I would think. So you gotta keep all your stuff within this and drink it within this. I don't know, I don't know about this. really chunky, but I guess that's part of the adventure. We'll come back to that one. We'll come back to that one, I think, I don't know. Now let's go for the MRE trans fat free spiced pound cake, because we need cake for breakfast. Here we go, with the nice um, do not eat submerged into the food that I'm about to eat, which is quite comforting, but it looks like a nice little banana loaf. Let's get this thing off. As it's actually cemented in, it's made its mark. It smells really good. Am I at Starbucks or am I in the field right now? I don't know. Well, that was the best thing I've eaten today. I mean, if you're if you're the baker in the in the military, you deserve a raise. I think it's just a pop tart that I just put inside. Boom! Well, a pop tart's a pop tart. Now let's go on to the fruit punch beverage powder. No fruit juice. How does that make sense? What are you trying to do to me right now? So we got some some sort of a, a Kool-Aid situation going on here now. Wow, that's all, that smells artificial. Hmm, I like it. It's good. Kind of tastes like a, a, a G2 Powerade. Okay, Ooh, chunk. All right, guys. So that is gonna do breakfast calories and macros will be on the screen right now. I think it's around 1,200 calories. I did a rough little calculation. I could be wrong, but overall. Not the most palatable meal, but uh, I guess when you're in the field, you kind of miss the finer things in life. So this stuff tastes all pretty damn good, I would think. Uh, so a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar. Uh, so I have quite a lot of energy right now. So we're gonna go head out, do the US Marine Fitness Test. So I'll see you guys there. So I just arrived, I took my military tank that I rented for this video. I'm just kidding, I'm actually at the Toronto Armory right now. Kind of unsure if I'm actually allowed to film out here. Like I don't see any sort of sniper rifle, so I think I'm okay. Although that'd probably make for a pretty good thumbnail. I'm not to beat around the bush right now, but I'm feeling quite constipated. Like that meal went down, but with absolutely no uh, exit strategy. So um, hopefully the three mile run that's about to commence in this fitness test will help me in that regard. Uh, speaking of fitness tests, I haven't done one in ages. I think the last time I did a fitness test was when I was in high school. I kind of did the beep test in gym class. And at that point I got my ass kicked. Like I wasn't fat, but I wasn't thin either. Like I was definitely at that point where you could still tell I like chocolate cake. So very interested to see, kind of nervous. So let's see how I do. Pretty cool, huh? So we are in the Armory right now about to do the US Marine physical fitness test. So there is three components to the test. The first one is the max pull-ups, and then there's sit-ups for two minutes, and then a three-mile run, which we'll do last. So do you guys like my outfit right here? So I have camo to, or mask my already non-existent legs. So we're gonna start off with the pull-ups. So everything here is based off your age. So I'm 25 years old, so the minimum score is five, and then the maximum for a perfect score is 23. So we'll see how I do. Three, two, one. Ooh. Got 18 there, so that is a pass. Wow, so that extra extension all the way down makes it way, way, way harder. So, pass the first one, one down, two to go. Okay, so time for test number two, which is gonna be the max sit-ups. So you have two minutes to do the sit-ups. So for my age group, the minimum score is 70, and then the maximum perfect score is 110. I'm pretty nervous for this one. This is the one I'm most nervous for because I do not train my abs nearly enough as I should. I definitely neglect them along with my calves. So let's go. I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping just to, I'm striving for the minimum, but we'll see. So can you give me a countdown? Yep. Countdown in three, Two, one. One, done. Oh. Mm. Oh. 
That was 64. So I failed. Oh yes, my sir. god. Well, so that's um, gonna do the ab hypertrophy of the year. I mean, if you can get 110, you're pretty much an extraterrestrial creature. Hopefully the three mile run goes well. Okay, so it's time for the last test and that's the three mile run. So we have the track up here. So one time around the track is 250 meters. So three miles will be around 19 laps in total. Uh, so for my age, the minimum score is 27 minutes and 40 seconds and the maximum, like the 100% score is 18 minutes. So I do Orange Theory four to five times a week. I'm a pretty good runner on the treadmill. So it's, I'm gonna be interested to see how this carries over to the track because I know running on a track versus running on the treadmill is completely two different things. So I'm very interested to see how it carries over. I think I'm gonna do well on this one. I think this is gonna be my, my best one for sure. But we will see. So I'm gonna throw on my Katy Perry to get me hyped up and then get going. Right here is the starting point. So where this door kind of ends with the brick. So here's the starting point. I'm gonna start my watch in three, two, one. 18 minutes easy. Last lap guys, fastest lap, here we go. Okay, I got 18 minutes, 57 seconds. Whew, so I didn't make the 100 maximum. But I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm actually, super, I'm happy I at least cracked 20 minutes. So, Orange Theory works, guys. Those last four laps were horrendous. Holy shit. So I guess two of three, I'll take it. I'll redeem myself next time, but yeah. So the fitness test is all done. Very, very hungry. That was quite a tough run, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna head home now, get some lunch. It's either gonna be tacos or some nice meatball spaghetti. We will see, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, so we are in the dense forest right now, AKA the park right beside my house. So I thought I'd bring lunch outside today because it just seems fitting. Hopefully I don't run into anybody because that would make for quite the awkward encounter, but we will deal with it if the time comes. Um, there is an abandoned bike behind me, which is kind of unsettling now that I actually say it out loud, but whatever. Um, so we are gonna be having meatball marinara for lunch. This sounds quite good. And we also have black bean in seasoned sauce, which is a nice unpleasant surprise. So let's just start off with the star of the show. Right now I'm feeling it and it feels, I can feel the balls, but they're more like pellets. They're not very big. And it feels very off-putting when I, when I do this. So it smells like I just walked into a so-so Italian restaurant, so I don't think I'm gonna get my hopes up. There is literally, absolutely no spaghetti in this. Here it is. I don't know if you guys can see inside there. It is literally just pure meatballs and tomato sauce. Am I actually... Oh, my bad. There's no spaghetti in it. It's just marinara sauce with meatballs. Made with chicken and beef. Taste test. It tastes exactly like Chef Boyardee. It's not bad. Not bad. No, do you know what? It's bad. It's definitely bad. I'm just hungry right now. It is really bad. I don't know. When it initially goes into your mouth and you start chewing it, you're like, it's not bad because it, like you, you think about the situation that you're in right now. And then as you chew it and you like, like kind of like your taste buds, like marinate in the food, it's just, it gets pretty awful. Meatballs are done. Would factually never have that again. No questions asked. Unless I was in combat, I guess I would probably settle for it. Next step, let's go with the Black bean sauce. Black beans in a seasoned sauce. So I'm a little bit worried about this because I already don't trust myself with fresh beans. So I don't see how my stomach will react to beans that have been in a air sealed pouch for God knows how long. Seems like they're trying to get some little Santa Fe action going on in here. Really good. And it's nice to get some protein in with this meal because last meal was like horrifically low in nutrient dense foods. Okay, that's gonna, I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't want the enemies to hear us. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do the black bean in sauce, in seasoned sauce. Like you wanna be a little bit more specific. Oh, we got a protein bar here. Soldier fuel, real peanut butter. Mmm, smells good. I actually enjoy it. 
It could be a little bit more fresh, obviously, but I'd probably eat it again. The more I eat this, best thing I've eaten all day. Not really saying much, but if you guys are curious. I'm kind of thirsty, so we'll go back with the electrolyte thing. So this one's lemon lime flavored, so not non-fruit fruit punch. Well, if you want to make a drink seem unappetizing, just shake it up in a bag. It's good. Again, just tastes like Powerade. I dig it. Okay, you know what? These things are far too hard to open. Like, I feel like the soldiers have enough to worry about. I feel like, personally, I'd be out in the field right now trying to open my cracker and I'd get sniped in the head. Because I'd be way too consumed into doing this. I would have no idea about my surroundings right now. So, if you guys make MREs, or you're the production person of it, just maybe keep that in mind. A little bit different of a cracker right now. So we got we got two here. Cool, cool. Not that cool. Let's hope this peanut butter this time doesn't start acting up on me. Yeah. Well, disturbingly dry. Do these things come with like saliva or something? Like. Okay, so we gotta save the best for last. We got dessert here. So every single MRE comes with some sort of dessert. So this one's vanilla pudding and it is powdered. So we're gonna have to add some water into it and then shake it up. I don't know how that is gonna turn into pudding. Okay, well, right away it does not feel like pudding. It looks feels more like a, oh, it actually looks eh, kind of like a really runny kind of pudding. Okay, there it is. Tastes like protein sludge. When you put, like, don't put enough water with the protein powder and mix it all up, really good. Kinda, I'm just gonna drink it. Nobody's judging me out here. All right guys, so that is gonna do lunch. Overall, pretty good. I enjoyed that a lot more than breakfast, so that's good news. So I'm gonna go home, chill for a bit, and I'll see you guys for the last meal. Okay, so it is time for dinner now, and I'm not feeling too hot. I feel like I have some sort of like a a brick that's just sitting right here and it does not want to go down, probably due to the lack of nutrient-dense foods and the low amount of fiber. But anyway, time to eat. So I am choosing between two options here. So I have right here, this one is beef taco. Beef taco filling. And then this one here is chili with beans. So beef taco filling. Does that mean I'm not gonna get a taco in here? Like I'm kind of confused because if I was a betting man, I would think that the beef taco filling will be the same exact thing as the actual chili. But, so, I, I just don't wanna be disappointed. But, hmm, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna go with the beef taco filling, that is dinner. Okay, so let's crack in to the last one of the day, the beef taco filling. So we don't know if there's quite a taco yet. Yes, yeah, so we do have flour tortillas. We have flour tortillas right here. We then have Milk, chocolate, cocoa, beverage, powder, great, just like from this morning. Another protein bar, MRE performance bar. Black beans in a seasoned sauce, again, great. And then some hot sauce, some more electrolyte powder. And then our dessert of the day, again, is another spiced pound cake. Come on, where's some variety here? Like, I think we should give the troops some guac. What do you guys think? I mean, like, it should be like kind of guac, like in the peanut butter kind of pouch. Here are the tortillas. How many did they give me here? One, two. Okay, I can live with two. Pretty much just a little chipotle on my own here. Oh, that is not. I got a waff of dog food, and that's coming from a man who's eating a lot of dog food. You guys see that? Be nice to have some like shredded cheese and some lettuce or, I mean, probably not lettuce, probably not even cheese. I mean, maybe some like canned cheese or like, you know what, that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Hopefully the beans cover the uh, the dog food-esque-ness to it. Okay, here we go. Bottoms up. Totally the best thing I've had all day. I could probably have this on my normal diet. Wow, this thing looks really old. I don't know if this is safe to eat. You know what? Don't want to lose a tooth. Not going with that. 
All right, let's try the cocoa beverage powder again, guys. I know in the morning it was not that good, but I always say I try anything twice. So we are gonna give this another go. Hopefully it mixes a little bit better this time. I'm gonna go extra rigorous this time. Come on. <clears throat> better this time. I didn't put as much water in, which makes it a, little bit, a lot better. And it's not chunky. We're gonna finish off again with dessert, and this is gonna be the last thing I eat for the entire day, which is again, the trans fat free spice pound cake. So this thing is 260 calories. So everything here is extremely calorie dense. Again. This one was actually really good too. Okay guys, so that is gonna wrap up dinner. Total calories and macros of the day will be on the screen right now. So quite a lot of calories for the volume of food that I ate. So my overall opinion on MREs are, uh, they're okay, they're not good, they're not bad. I mean, I guess for what they are, they get the job done. I mean, there are some moments there that were pretty bad, but then there were some good moments. So I mean, you know what, it balances itself out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.